Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense and I'm really sorry for the last live stream guys. Uh, I was logged into Google Hangouts and I don't know what happened. I couldn't chat with you guys. It was completely a monologue and I really wanted to have an interactive session because I was introducing some of the most amazing scents of 2017 by Arij Ladore and uh, I'm so sorry guys but thanks for your support, thanks for your patience uh, because um, I'll, do, I'll say one thing guys if you really use headphones and if you use your mobile phones when the screen resolution is smaller you'll actually learn a lot about these fragrances it was a very long introduction however I'm saving the best for the final review of each product which will be separate so you can enjoy that later on with uh, you know without having to worry about any quality issues any audiovisual quality issues uh, anyway uh, today is a very beautiful day if you just hear these odd sounds please excuse me because of a lot of uh, chatter is going on a lot of preparations are going on for uh, the beautiful uh, festival of lights which is Diwali or Deepavali which is the arrival of winters in India and all the cultures coming together will uh, be celebrating this so God bless you all my friends my dear friends all over the world thank you so very much for uh, participating in uh, my uh, uh, videos and appreciating the content that I consistently try to deliver so thank you all, thank you so very much to uh, each one of you and I, and I extend my warm wishes for Deepavali to all of you. God bless you all. Have a really blessed new year. Now the thing here is that I really wanted to talk about my scent of the day. My scent of the day is a beautiful perfume. I'm just giving you a brief preview of that because it's, it's uh, one of the most amazing perfumes that I have sampled recently and it's by my friend Zakir. Zach from Agarwood Assam. He's on Etsy and he's a very talented artist, a very talented son to a very talented man. They are legends in the youth business, very nice people, very, very traditional people. I have had the pleasure of visiting them. So it's not an association that is leading me to make this review or a preview, in fact, uh, but it's just the sheer excitement, the sheer astonishment uh, which came uh, with this beautiful little package it's known as itr kafila itr is the indian word for atar kafila is basically a caravan a, 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 a group of people traveling together all right it's basically a group of people uh, in a journey all right so it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing and there's this um, what it basically represents is the modern form of a very popular fragrance and I know you'll recognize this one. This is Swiss Arabian's Jannatul Firdos. Jannatul Firdos is one of the most celebrated perfumes from the house of Jivodan. Uh, Jivodan uh, basically made the first Jannatul Firdos and people have been crazy about it since 1970s. All right. And uh, Swiss Arabian was uh, very, very uh, work, was working very close with uh, Jivodan at that time. Uh, however, these are not pure natural ingredients. You know, regardless, this is a very good perfume, very popular. I understand the sentiments. This is uh, like uh, Chanel number no. five for of the Eastern perfumery of Indian perfumery. But guys, when you put in natural ingredients to something, especially something like Rukhas, which is the essence of vetiver, which I showed in one of, of in one of my videos, probably one of the heaviest uh, perfume molecules in the world to play with and uh, it eats up everything so making a blend from real vetiver is a huge huge task and a lot of effort has gone into the making of this fragrance it smells it smells like uh, uh, a real hardcore traditional version of Jannatul Firdaus a traditional perfume from Kannauj uh, the historical land of perfume making in India and uh, what this basically smells like is a very, very um, earthy. No, sorry, guys. Excuse me for that. So this, this, this basically smells like a very earthy, rooty sort of vetiver in the opening. It's almost giving out leathery facets, but it's never too challenging because there are other ingredients like aged oud, aged laotian oud, which is giving this perfume a nice woody. Uh, 
leathery, uh, sorry, not leathery, woody, slightly tarry sort of structure. It also has that pencil shaving vibe, uh, which is a common theme with Sahara Oud from Fragrance du Bois and uh, Maison Francis um, uh, Kirkjans Oud. It's a beautiful perfume. They share this pencil shaving sort of uh, Oud vibe, probably. Um, a mismatch of ingredients there but it's 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 it turns really beautiful in the air and uh, it's not too good on the skin but i don't know in the air it just smells royal regal i don't know uh, it smells beautiful so this fragrance is basically oud vetiver and stuff like that really amazing composition if you're looking to gift yourself a, a really exclusive and a signature indian scent it has to be jannat al firdaus or it has to be itr kafila Jannat ul Firdaus costs about 300 Indian rupees, that's probably less than $5, something like that. And this one is $120 on Etsy right now. But guys, this is not the final review. It's not so simple. It's a very, very complex fragrance. But I just wanted to tell you about this because this is going to be my scent of the day for Diwali. And I'm really looking forward to a good time today. I wore it yesterday. Got a lot of compliments because this thing is loud and, and it's, it's just a beautiful regal smell. Anyone who, who understands and who appreciates uh, traditional Kannauj fragrances like Shamama to Lambar, like Jannatul Firdaus, Majmua, uh, all the Ruhs that they are, Ruh Motia, Ruh Gulab and stuff like that, Saffron, Zafran. The first whiff of this will really transport you back into time and it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling to have, especially when you have a connection to your homeland. You know, it, it's really uh, an emotional moment. So. This Diwali, I wish you lots of love and success guys once again and hope to see you soon on the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.